What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Stu here, bringing you a brand new sneaker review here on Reality TV. Uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Nike box, so you know what that means. Bet you can't guess what shoe it is. Today, I'll be bringing you the Nike React Element 87. Pretty fire shoe, sold out in like seconds online. Um, I don't know if any, any stores even got them. I'm pretty sure somewhere in Chicago they did, like St. Alfred um, or one of those kind of stores. But, ooh, this is actually my first time looking at them in person. So, wow. Comes in your standard Nike sportswear box. Really don't care about, nor do you. Wow. Yeah. Nike definitely set their game up. They got sick of Adidas kicking their ass. Oh man. Got 3M, Volt, the Nike Epic React material on the bottom. Oh yeah. Can't wait to rock these. But yeah, so I think the coolest feature of the shoe off jump is the translucent body. Uh, people, if you get this shoe, please make sure you have clean socks on. You got fresh kicks. Go buy some brand new socks and bleach your fit. But yeah, uh, I think that's super cool. We haven't seen this in a long time uh, since what, maybe the Air Force Ones? So this is super cool. It's actually a mesh opposed to the patent leather. So that makes the shoe super light. Uh, like I said, you have the Epic React uh, sole with the hints of neon that complement the neon stitching pull tab with the 3M, as well as a hint of neon on the tongue. Uh, it's a lot of little specs of 3M, which I'm pretty sure looks fire when you put the flash on. Uh, I chose this colorway because it had brown in it. I really don't see so many sneakers with brown anymore, and I have a gazillion pairs of shoes with red and blue in it, so I, I chose uh, to get the brown pair. Um, man, it's actually just a super clean silhouette, brand new um, to Nike this year. I feel like they kind of overdo it, you know, making the same shoe with different colors, it gets boring. Uh, even though I do have like every color Jordan 1, I mean, kind of want to see different brand new silhouettes every once in a while. So I really do appreciate that. And I just noticed something mega cool about the shoe. If I can get it out. The insole is corked with a Volt swoosh. This is actually super cool. I've never seen cork on a shoe besides the LeBron, I think that was a LeBron 10. It is actually super cool. I'm impressed, I'm thoroughly impressed. The shoe is really, really light. Probably about the same weight as uh, the Fly Day Racers. Man, I like these more so because they put you in the mind of a Nike ACG. Uh, looks like more like a utility shoe, not like a running shoe. Um, I would imagine them to be super comfortable with the makeup. Uh, Seems like a summer shoe. I don't think many people will be wearing this in the fall because of the breathable mesh of the shoe. Yeah. I don't think you want to get snow in these. Well, I'm in here. I'm, I'm in Chicago, so yeah, I'm definitely not rocking these in the in the wintertime, but I'm going to get my wears while the weather's still good here. But yeah, Nike actually steps your game up. Uh, I really appreciate the Nike React. Uh, because Adidas was kicking y'all ass with a boost. So, you did your thing. I still don't know if I like the React more than I like the boost, but I do appreciate that these are always like lighter. I have the Nike Epic React, um, really comfortable. I've worn them a lot. The only thing is this white sole kind of, once it gets dirty, there's no cleaning it. But, I mean, I rock my shoes, so once they're dirty, they're dirty. I'm still gonna rock them until the wheels fall off, and then I'll probably still rock them. But, yeah, Nike, uh, you guys did a good job with this one. Um, I'm not really sure where you can get these because they did sell out online. I'm not sure what stores had them, but I'm pretty sure you get them from probably like StockX or GOAT. Um, I don't know why I'm plugging you guys because I don't get anything from you and I've never purchased from you guys, but I do know a lot of people that shop at those two sites, so I'm not hating. Um, yeah, um, resale on them are, from what I saw, Box price was 160 plus tax. I think it came to like 170 should. I'm seeing them go from anywhere between 240 and 270 online. 
So that's actually a pretty, a pretty decent little bump up in price on the resale market. Um, uh, but all in all, really cool shoe. Can't wait to rock them. Stay tuned for more sneaker content. I got some heat coming for you. As well as I'm going to uh, upload a video, a couple videos of my past weeks of sneaker rotation. Pretty much I rotate five shoes in a week, uh, if not more. So I kind of want to give you a small look into that. But for the people that don't follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I usually uh, post a couple pairs of shoes a week. If not, every shoe that I wear in a, uh, a given week. So follow me on Instagram at wontonstu1. Hit subscribe, hit the like button. Also, I guess I might as well let you know that I will be doing a free sneaker giveaway uh, once I hit 500 subscribers and then again at 1,000. The 500 might not be as nice as 1,000. By the time I get to 1,000, well, hopefully if I ever get there, it'll be easy season. So kind of giving you a hint of what kind of shoe I will be giving away. So like I said, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Thank you for tuning in. I'm out. Laugh from the Free Base Factory. Hey, chap. I need a hit. Uh, uh, Wale. KB, what up? Young Boss, what up? OD, what up? Sneaker Man, what up? Yay Sin, what up? Slim got a mold, murder dice, so oh, what up? Uh, Bad Crew, what up? Uh, uh, Swale, uh, hey, hey.